it this is, is her third out. heat and she doesn't want to get pregnant. The storm is hitting right now that we've been talking about, that we talked about last video. And we're going to uh, move, let's see, who do we say we're gonna move? Dilly we're gonna dally. move Butterbrickle. Not Dilly no, Dally. we're gonna move Dilly Dally. No, 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 no. No, we are gonna move Butterbrickle. Oh, Stop it. You're running into me. We're gonna move Butterbrickle and Bootstrap Billy into the new buck pen today because today she decided it would be a good day to go back into heat yet again. Well, it this is, is her third out. heat and she doesn't want to get pregnant. So, uh, yeah, she's making us do this in the middle of a storm. Thank you very much. Is it too cold? You don't look very cold. You I look happy as a clam. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Deal. Hey, close the gate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. God, I love him. He's so awesome. You little freaked out? I know, that's your girl, huh? I'm sorry. This wouldn't have happened if you just gotten yourself bred. Well, they're settled in their new enclosure and they can't resist all the greens that they have to eat. Fingers crossed that they will weather this storm decently and yeah, we're supposed to get like what, 10 inches? Yeah. yeah, 10 inches or something. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is a lot. Well, at least to us, it's a lot. Butterbrickles had like three days with Bootstrap Billy. Her heat is over and her BFF Dilly Dally is really, whoa, <laughs> she's really mad. So 
so I think we're gonna give her her best friend back. Oh, do you want your BFF back? And then we're gonna put Mr. Blaze Hayes in with Bootstrap Billy. Right now. So, and transform it into a bachelor pad. Right now? Yeah, right now. Poor Blaze, he doesn't got his winter coat. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. He's getting it in. I don't think so. You're gonna be mad. There he goes. Don't worry, Dilly Dilly. I'll be right back with butter bricks. There you go. Don't let him out. Excuse you. Ha ha. Trade ya. Come on, girly. Go. Go ahead and turn. Uh oh. Bambi, get. Here, Brickle. There you go. Come on! Come on! Let's go! Just an FYI for people that don't know too much about goats, we put the boys all the way over there so that when the girls are milking, the buck stink won't be able to sour their milk. You gotta push up. There you go. You got it. Thumbs up, Marshall. Huh? Good daddy, thumbs, thumbs up. up. Huh? Thumbs up. Where's your finger? <laughs> there you go. <Yay. laughs> you got it, Callie? Come on, Callie. Run, Callie. Here you come in, Callie. Here you go. You got grass hay in your hair. Go to mommy. Alright, Kayla and I'll be help. Go, Callie. Go. Touching him so much that he tries to sit down. Yes. You know, I like your winter coat a little bit more than it was before. Are you talking to Bootstrap Billy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're done uh, trying to breed the goats for now. I'm considering getting an ultrasound done. I could probably take the goats to the 
to the vet rather than having them come out here because the, the part where they come out here is going to cost us way more than if I went to them and got the ultrasounds done. Ultrasounds for goats are way cheaper than you might think. I think it ranges anywhere from like $20 minimum to like around 40 bucks and then you know per goat it's like a little extra. So we may get them ultrasound. We don't know yet. It may be worthwhile. We just have no idea if they're pregnant or not. It's kind of it a 50 50 chance well it's our first time having baby goats so it's like we don't know what the hell we're doing yeah i, I want to know how many are in there so that if you know one of them is not coming out like i'll have a better idea of oh there's another one in there or there's two more in there and one of them stuck and preventing the other one it's from coming out it's a security out. blanket for us makes us feel very good to know exactly what is going on and that way i don't have to draw in blood i mean i i think i could do it it would be a pain in my butt to like draw the blood package it up with some ice, send it off to WSU, and get it all taken care of that way. Why not just drive 40 minutes, pay extra, and uh, if Butterbrickle is not pregnant, which I suspect she is not. We'll force her into another heat by doing some progesterone yeah. thing up her... I heard of CIDR, it's like a progesterone insert. You stick up there for two weeks, then you take it out, give her a shot, and boom, 24 hours she's in another heat. Uh, many Nubians, unlike Nigerians, because they're a Nigerian Nubian cross, Nubians go into heat in the fall. Nigerians go into heat like all year round. So uh, when you cross them, get many Nubians, most of the time they're going to have the same heat cycle as a Nubian. They're not probably not going to be in heat all year round. Every once in a while you'll get one that is, but I don't think my girls are going to do that. I'm not going to bet on it. So we're probably going to figure out if she's pregnant or not with the ultrasound and then go from there as to whether or not we're going to breed her later on in the season and force a heat and stuff like that. I have to Google it a lot more and ask some friends about it. But yeah, uh, that's it for goats. And what were you going to tell them? On another note, we have a surprise animal slash thingy going to be coming in the mail. This surprise thing or animal, you should guess in the comments. But yeah, you're only going to know when we release a video. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know I mean, what I'm talking end about. Of February? No, it's coming ASAP. There's just nothing coming with it. No one understands the riddle in which I say. Nobody understands but you let's get you, don't you one speak thing. English. I speak English, okay? We have a surprise animal or thingy. Please subscribe animal. so you can slash thingy because it's not really an animal. It's something for an animal. Or is it saying? is an animal. It could be an animal. Guess what I am talking about. I'm trying and you're I don't not. know what you're talking about. You guys should guess in the comments and stay subscribed because when it comes, we will show you and it will be spectacular. Also in the foreground that's the wrong word but in the forecast in the forecast we will be having also a new garden episode where we're going to start our garden in a month but we have some grow lights and a giant utility stand coming in the mail so we'll, we'll have that all in the next our video our seedling start setup is coming uh because we got our uh what do you call it Jeff? government paycheck we got our Stimulus check. Stimulus check, that's what it's called. And I mean, what better to use a stimulus check for uh, than self-sustainability? Yeah, making your life more sustainable. It's the best investment you can make. We're also paying off debt with it, so. <laughs> All the above. Yeah. So stay Two tuned. Two sides to that card. Stay tuned for our surprise animal slash thingy. And stay tuned for our. You need your inhaler. Our I seedling. <laughs> utility stand grow light setup that we will be building inside of our well house because it's warm right on right on right on like and subscribe, like and subscribe. We'll yeah see we'll see you on the next one bye see you on the flip side